All right, Fortnite season eight is here. You know that, you know that there's a Kanye skin coming, you know that there's a Naruto skin, you know it's all about the cubes and Kevin and the alien invasion is over. I'm not here to tell you all that. You're annoying YouTubers with the content creator code going on for five fucking minutes as an intro. They're doing that for you. I'm here to talk about how Fortnite is amazing, but they're wasting potential. This proves it. Man, Carnage is like the, what, the, the 50th fucking Marvel skin? They're about to have the whole DC roster in their game. With Naruto, they're opening the door to anime. So what's next, One Piece? I don't know, man. They have Will Smith, LeBron James, Neymar. The crossovers are endless and they're wasting it on a battle royale, where it's all about shooting and having to deal with annoying kids. <laughs> and building quick and just tryhards everywhere. Just this, this limited game mode that PUBG was able to pull off, that Apex is pulling off. They're wasting it on that. And yeah, 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 I know they have limited time modes and they have a creative mode, but they don't even, yeah, I know, it, I know that shit exists, but at the end of the day, Fortnite is a battle royale. And I'm thinking, why? Look at Valheim, look at No Man's Sky, ambitious games, endless games, huge games with potential that's massive, yet doesn't even come close to the potential that Fortnite has. With all the licenses, they could build a world that's <laughs> unparalleled. They have the survival mechanics with the building, they have the RPG elements, and they have an open world system already, and the licenses just don't even get me started on that again. The PUBG creator, Brandon Green, is now working on a game called Prologue, which will then become a game called Artemis. Again, that's the creator of PUBG and Fortnite Stomp PUBG into a mobile game in India. All right, now that guy is working on Prologue, which is just a massive world that you inhabit. And again, this will turn into Project Artemis and Artemis will literally be the size of our earth, meaning it will take you 8,300 hours to traverse it by foot meaning it will have an emergent ecosystem where if you're in one part of the world and you kill all the bears, the deer population will skyrocket. That's the type of world we're talking about here, where a helicopter is not for you to kill people, but you need it to get from A to B in a day rather than 10 days. If the creator of PUBG can work on a game like this, imagine what Fortnite can do. You've seen Ready Player One, and this movie, you're, you're, you, know, you put on your shit, you get on your, on your, on your, on your gaming treadmill, you have your glock, and you're in that world, you know? I'm in my porn movie, he's in YouTube, he's in Game of Thrones while the other guy is in Naruto, and the other guy is in the racing game while another friend is fighting Street Fighter and not playing it, you know? And you're all inhabiting that realm. Fortnite has the licenses for it, they have the money for it, they have the brand name for it, and they have, I mean, they have Epic, they have the support, they have the world of gaming by the balls, but they're fucking wasting it on the Battle Royale, man. All right, so, uh, I mean, this is a commenty thing, right? Let me know what you think. Is Fortnite wasting potential? Are you happy with it just being a Battle Royale? Is it the game to end all games and the future of gaming? And can it turn into Ready Player One? Or am I just talking on my ass, like usual? If you didn't like that, fuck it dislike. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell. See you tomorrow for more news. All right. Take care.